All right, so it's time for Fortnite's seventh birthday celebration, and we've got some quests as well as some free XP and three free rewards as well. So it says, be the life of the party. Celebrate Battle Royale's seventh birthday by completing quests to earn the birthday bud spray, the cake clobber pickaxe, and the sprinkly space cake back bling until October 1st. So first of all, let's take a look at the rewards. Again, you get a ton of XP. You get the birthday bud spray. And I don't know if that's going to be a skin in the future. It looks like literally a piece of cake with a jersey of some sort on. And then we get the typical and standard pickaxe and backlit. However, they spruced it up a little bit this time. They made it have the galaxy effect. So this is probably the coolest pickaxe we've had yet. And I'll show you all of them once I get it. Same thing for the cake. It's pretty much the default version, but again, it has the galaxy effect. So for the seventh birthday, they did the galaxy theme. Now here's the quest. First one, super, super easy. Wish the bus driver a happy birthday times seven. And you'll notice they're all times seven because obviously it's the seventh birthday. Throw birthday presents or open chests. Now normally this one would be really hard because birthday presents are usually hard to get, but now they made it so all you have to do is open a chest. Seven times, that's it, easy. Next is travel distance while airborne with balloons from birthday medallions. Now, I don't know how common the birthday medallion is. I don't know if there's just one on the map or if multiple people can have it. I guess we'll find out when we play a match. Next is eat slices of birthday cake times seven and there's cakes scattered all around the map. Then there's release or pop balloon. And fun fact, if you ride in a car with the medallion, the balloons just pop automatically. So you can get this done just by driving a car around with the medallion. And then lastly, reveal players by setting off fireworks with the flare gun times seven. So there's pretty much cakes at every POI except for Brawler's Battleground, Sandy Steps, and Brutal Beachhead. That's kind of strange. I'm going to go up here. Well, we got to wish the happy birthday as well. I'm going to go up here to Grand Glacier. I love what they did with the battle bus, though. And of course, it's playing the happy birthday music. I'm gonna gobble all this cake up. I ate all the cake. <laughs> that was an AI, by the way. That was 100% an AI. That's not, though. That's a real player. And I just got shredded. I'm probably dead. Yep. Well, that's what I get for eating all the cake. Well, it's better to die a few matches anyway, because we have to thank the bus driver seven times. By the way, you only have to complete five quests, so you can skip one of them. I bet most people will want to skip probably the flare gun one. So I just looked it up, and it looks like you can only find birthday medallions inside birthday presents. And to get a birthday present, you just open up normal chests, and they'll eventually pop out. Or you can find them as floor loot. Oh, there's a the flare gun. Let's take that. Okay, so I didn't realize there was balloons normally, so that'll help you get some of the quests done. What happened here? Why is there so many splashes? What? There must be some kind of glitch. There's no way. Look at all this. Most of these are grouped in six. That is absolutely crazy. You should be able to just find them. Oh, this guy's got balloons. Hold on, maybe he's got the medallion. Or maybe just... Did he have it? He did have the medallion! Let's go! There it is! So clearly he found the birthday present. Okay, so now what do we have to do? Travel distance while airborne. Okay, I can do that. So with this medallion, it just says gain balloons over time. But I don't know if it shows your location. Let's drop it and see. I didn't notice when I picked it up. No, it doesn't say you're marked on the map. So that's good. Now remember, you can take fall damage with balloons. So be careful. Unless you have a jetpack. And you can get a maximum of three. Oh, jeez. I wish you could control when you get the balloons because it's kind of risky being this high. I mean, I'm going to fall in water if I fall. But at least this is pretty easy to get the distance. So here's the first reward, the cake clobberer. Let's swing that real quick. Okay, that's nice. 
And then what do we get? The Pilverine Classic for doing a quest. Nice. And like I said earlier, if you have the balloon medallion and you hop into a car, it'll just keep popping the balloons and you can get that quest done super easy. Every few seconds it'll spawn a balloon while you're driving and it just flies away. Here we go, final bus driver thinking. Boom! Got it. So that's the fifth and final quest we need. And there's the back bling. So I was also looking up how to easily find the flare gun. And apparently it's supposed to be in birthday presents as well, but I've opened two presents and not seen a single one. So I recommend landing at a place with a ton of chests, like right down here on the southeast corner of the map. There's just a million chests there. And just opening as many as you can until you find a flare gun. But remember, you don't have to do that one. That's the one you can skip because all the other ones are really, really easy. And you only need five out of five to get all three free rewards. So feel free to skip this one unless you really want that 20,000 XP. Hey, there's a flare gun though. Let's go. So remember, for this one, you have to do seven and you only get six shots. So, so you got to hope that each hit marks and then one time you actually hit two people. Or, of course, you can find multiple flare guns. If you can find an actual AI, you can just mark them over and over and over, and it'll be perfect. Or, better yet, if you find two AIs fighting... Hold on, someone's creeping up right here. Okay, so that's 100% an AI. So, you know what? I'm just going to leave him a second. And we'll just mark him again as soon as it wears off. Did we mark two there? No. And there's the final reward, the Sprinkly Space Cake. Hey, look at this. We also got Gwenpool, the Dark Gwenpool. Rocking the number one birthday cake. Nice. So it says, tastes like seven years of sweet memories. That's awesome. Seven years. So this is not all the birthday cakes, but I just wanted to show you some. So the first one was this purple and teal. And then for number three, we had this greenish and pink. And then for number five, we had this digital orange and teal and a little bit of pink in there. And here's seven, as you saw, the galaxy. So there's kind of like a theme for each one, but it pretty much looks the same every single time. That little spatula down there, the one sliver of cake out, and the ginormous number on the top. Here's a few of the birthday ones. We got the birthday basher, and that's the pink cake. It looks almost like red velvet in the middle. We had the original one, the birthday slice. That's a pretty solid one, ginormous fork. Then they went away from the fork, as you saw in this first one, the birthday basher. And that's what we got for the cake clobber. Pretty cool. So there you go, the three free rewards for the seventh birthday quest. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.